I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Strawberry Reservoir where fall colors takes on a whole new meaning. We love the Kokanee and so does everybody else. And what's not to love? These freshwater variation of ocean-going sockeye salmon turn an incredibly vibrant red during the fall spawning season. Fun to see and fun to hold. I think it's an honor to hold any wild animal and, and it was wonderful. Beautiful fish and a good time here. People treat you really well and you get to do things you'd never get to do otherwise. Hold on to that tail. The good time is the annual Kokanee Salmon Day here at Strawberry, where state wildlife experts are anxious to show off these prized fish. And the thing you never get to do otherwise is a unique hands-on experience. Uh, it just gives uh, anglers a chance to view these cool fish. They don't usually see them in the reservoir when they're silver, but once they come up the river, they're really visible. People like to come up and see them. After spending the summer in the depths of the reservoir, mature kokanee come up the Strawberry River and other tributaries to lay their eggs. In their path upstream is this electrified fence, which diverts some of the fish into an elaborate system of concrete runs and tanks known as the trap, and they can hold a bunch of fish. They're very easy to see. We have about 6,000 of them out to sea. We have guys in the water letting you hold them, take your pictures with them. It's a really neat event. So my dad actually worked here when he was in college and when he was a newlywed. So he likes to bring us back to come see it. So he brought the little girls up and we all came out to see it today. It's been a really neat experience to be able to see the fish and especially like changing colors. Uh, holding one, tell me about that. <laughs> holding one is fun. It's a bigger fish than I usually hold. I do like to go fishing, but the ones I catch usually aren't that big. <laughs> Several thousand visitors turn out for this year's free open house. Local businesses provide hot dogs and drinks, area fly fishing clubs stage fly casting clinics, and fly tying demonstrations. What'll bite that? Uh, yesterday, brown trout, rainbow trout. But the stars of this show are the fish. They're an amazing fish, they have an amazing life cycle, and we like to show them off. They're a very important part of the Strawberry Reservoir fishery and our anglers are just starting to learn how to, to catch them and they're probably one of the best tasting fish in the state. The kokanee will be in the runs and easy to see for several weeks this fall. But the real reason for trapping these fish isn't to show them off, it's to ensure their future. Twice a week on this day in front of several area high school groups, biologists take the eggs from the females and fertilize them on site with sperm from the male fish. Uh, we'll, we'll end up taking between two to three million eggs uh, on a good year like this and then uh, we'll take those back to our hatcheries where we can uh, uh, raise those fish to be three to four inches before we stock those back out in these waters. The newly hatched fish are then released back into Strawberry and several other waters where they'll complement but not compete with the local trout population. Well, we've had a lot of interest in kokanee in recent years, and we're now stocking a lot of these fish into Flaming Gorge Reservoir, Fish Lake, Jordanelle Reservoir, and Starvation. So we, we were kind of spreading them out to a lot of different places. The eggs in the hatchery have a huge advantage over wild eggs. 80 to 85 percent of these eggs taken here will hatch. In the wild, eh, not so much. When the eggs are deposited in the gravel, only about maybe 10 to 20 percent of those eggs will actually survive to hatching. And then of course they have to survive beyond that, um, you know, not being eaten by the other fish. Kokanee are becoming more popular among anglers and this annual ritual ensures there will be plenty of fish to catch in the future. Reach at your leisure at Strawberry Reservoir.